My name is Cal Spelitich. We're in San Francisco, California. I'm an artist. I build machines and robots. America sucks. You know, this is not cool what's happening. It's, this is not good what's happening to the environment. I don't like the, the wealth being concentrated in a very small group of people. There's almost a kind of strange decadence that's happening with people as they realize, you know, the fall is, is coming. You know, on the flip side, I've been able to live my life and get away with it. I haven't been caught yet. I keep thinking they'll come in the door and say, you can't do this anymore. There is ways to carve out an existence and have an alternative life in America, like truly an alternative life. I don't use that term lightly. And it's work and it's sacrifice, but the payoff is incredible. There are still opportunities in America and in the West. It's, it's not in front of you though. It's sort of back behind in a dark alley. In this funny, weird place that you wouldn't think to go to. But that's where different blossoming cultures are happening. So at the end of this street is uh, the inlet to the San Francisco Bay. And this is where you end up when you're trying to get to the edge of town, but still be in a large international city. Hey, it's everywhere in San Francisco. It's a disaster. Our economy is collapsing and there's no money for the people. There are no jobs. And so there's this facade that everything's okay and then a huge underclass of people that don't have an education or opportunities for work. It's very hard to step out of society and that takes a certain kind of person that's really kind of wily and crafty and, uh, and is willing to sacrifice. And, and so much of life now isn't about sacrifice, it's about reward and you only do something for an instant reward and to not see a bigger picture that if you sacrifice and give, uh, you get this other bigger, deeper reward, a much richer reward and uh, life purpose. Capitalism is about the individual getting all they can the moment they can. And the moment you let go of that, everything changes. You're, your whole worldview changes when the real rewards are this whole other th mystical level that you can't see, but we all know is there and we know it's pulsing, right? It's, pu it's pulsing. It's, it's living right there, right next to you. And we're afraid to tap into that and afraid to like step into this other, other life, other approach to the journey. When you see what society and capitalism provides, I realized that wasn't the life I wanted. I didn't want a good job. I didn't want something 
that took me away from my real life's work. And a job isn't your life's work. That is uh, busy work. What I was trying to do is find my life purpose and then live it. Live it like my hair's on fire and not do it fake, not do it part time. Knowing every day I was free and I had a choice of how to spend my life and my time, not getting bogged down in consumerism. And once I let go of a lot of that, then I had a lot more free money and a lot more free time. And maybe it is a, there is a poverty of wealth, but a wealth of freedom and time. And so I've spent years of my life on the road exhibiting this work and meeting people and having adventures. And um, that is freedom to me. And that is, you know, my definition is finding that life purpose and running with it.